Drivers are being faced with a confusing postcode lottery over rules on using mobile phones as satnavs, it was claimed last night. Motoring organizations say conflicting advice from ministers and police forces is to blame for a lack of understanding over whether people can use either device at the wheel. The Daily Mail launched its End the Mobile Madness campaign in September 2016 after an RAC survey revealed the shocking increase in the use of mobile phones by drivers. It led to new penalties being introduced in March to stop drivers making calls and sending texts while driving. The rules can also extend to using devices to follow maps. But a lack of consistency in official advice has led to confusion in court cases, according to the Daily Telegraph. Currently, the government's Department for Transport states drivers should not use their phone at the wheel. However, some police forces in local areas go as far as to say that drivers should not touch their phone while driving. And some motorists are even advised to put their phone out of sight while driving. More than 200 drivers each day have been prosecuted for using their phone illegally, the equivalent of one conviction every seven minutes. But when it comes to individual court cases, it is claimed there are glaring disparities over prosecutions. Some drivers have been convicted for holding their phones for fleeting moments while driving. Meanwhile others have been cleared for using their devices for far longer stretches of time. Edmund King, president of the AA, told The Telegraph, that conflicting advice meant it was not surprising there was some confusion among motorists. There have been Department for Transport campaigns to raise awareness of the dangers and we have also done one, and it would be fair to say that we haven't gone into the minute details of the law," he said. Drivers convicted of illegal mobile phone use at the wheel can expect up to six points on their license and a minimum £200 fine. The large number of daily convictions mean the courts and police are raising at least £40,000 daily in fines, or £14. Six million a year. Donald Lawler, the secretary of the Criminal Bar Association, said the law is open to interpretation because the offense is using a mobile phone rather than holding a mobile phone. It's absolutely right that we should get to a situation where the lay person has clarity, particularly in court. The Crown Prosecution Service states in its guidelines that there has been some debate about what use means. A phone or device will be in use where it is making or receiving a call or performing any other interactive communication function whether with another person or not, according to the guidelines. The particular use to which the mobile phone must be put is not defined as an element of the offense. The prosecution must merely prove 
that the phone or the other device was handheld by the person at some point during its use at a time when the person was driving a vehicle on a road.